Hello my friends and welcome back to our continued blind let's play Legend of Dragoon for PlayStation. My name is The Flightless Bird. This is your story based gaming channel. And today we're here in the castle and we're about to go to dinner. A lot of things going on. Most importantly, our Dragoon spirit has been stolen and I really need to get that back. So let's not waste any time. Let's get to it, shall we? I hope everyone's having a wonderful, fantastic day today. Wow, look at her go. Jeez. Please, make yourself at home. Ha ha ha. Isn't she a great eater? See, as when girls become 20 years old, they develop quite an appetite. Oh, Fester, would you introduce our guest to Emil? Uh, yes, Your Majesty. Oh, I didn't know you are here, Fester. Are you so wasting time and useless things? Those things with moons are stars? Oh, let me introduce my friends, your highness. This... You and you. Like, what's your name? I'm Dark. I am Albert. It is a pleasure to meet you. You are cute guys. I like you. I am glad to hear that. And these... I didn't ask you about the others. Oh, please, don't be insulted. Emil is a bit shy. I'm not shy. I don't like them. That's all. Hey, bring me more food, will ya? Please, enjoy your meal. I assume you are leaving early tomorrow morning. Oh, that was Lisa. Sorry. Where are you going? Well, they are saying that they want to go to Valley of Corruptic Gravity. They understand the risk, so I have granted them permission. Hmm. Ha, huh, stupid guys. Come on, enjoy yourself. Let yourself go tonight. She doesn't like that, does she? Can people change that much from only the shock of falling from a horse? Huh, I can't produce the same impact with my fist. It won't work. Well, then with my hammer. It won't work either. Everyone, it is getting late. Please stay at the castle tonight. Thank you for your concern. It is fine. It is me asking you the favor. Have a good night. I could have swore there was going to be like some boss fight or something. Because they say, are you sure you want to do this? And usually that's the sign saying, danger, Will Robinson. You know? This way, please. I'll show you to your bedroom. One place that I could actually explore before. <sighs> you don't, you don't like such a form of feast, do you, Dart? Aren't you tired? Uh, I would rather practice with my sword. I didn't have enough to eat. Like Princess Emil stole my portion. Me neither, and I was looking forward to it. I understand, but this is his hardship. But Princess Emil might lead us to Lloyd. The Moon Dagger is our guide. Everything leads to the Garrick. Garrick. It all started with the Dragoon Spirit. We have to get it back, or quick, or it'll be too risky. You shouldn't have let it be taken to start with, then. But you are harsh as always. There are some other ways to say that. Why don't you show her that it's well, at least? I don't remember how to smile. Good night. Huh. That's weird. I'm getting sleepy, too. I'll get some sleep too.
Good night, Tachana. Good night, Tachana. Okay, looks like one went around. Dart. Uh... What, you sleep? Well, I'll be in danger if I go to sleep before Dart. What? What are you talking about? Weird. Thinking about something. Huh, being with you, young people, reminds me of Clay. What? Like, what she's like? Well, she had a strong will. She suffered by herself, but decided things by herself. Same here. Call me a fond parent. But she looked like her beautiful mother. She was a strong fighter, but the heart was too sweet. It's like the complete opposite of Meru. I'm a strong fighter too? That's not the point. I only taught her how to use her fist, but I wish I could see her in a wedding dress. You can see me in a wedding dress? I like be totally beautiful in that, don't you think? Uh, sure, I think so. Yes, I think so. Yay! Right? Happy sleepy time! <laughs> Ayo, get some sleep too. We made the kid happy. Like I said, I thought there would be something here. Like all my instincts were saying danger, danger, danger. But in fact, there was nothing dangerous here at all. Yeah. As long as Prince Mill stays up by the cloud or Prince Lisa heart won't clear up. I could go back here now. The landscape of the sea. Did you see those two knights going through a tense training? The other knights were accompanied by Princess Mail on the long ride when she fell off the horse. What admirable people, they blame themselves too much. I'm trying to talk to you, I'm trying to look at your dresses. These are all beautiful dresses. I've never seen such dresses in Celeste. Come on, no stardust? Well, if there is, it's a pixel hunt that I lost. It's great to have this many targets for sword practice. Required a moon serenade. And a sun rhapsody. I think the sun rhapsody is mana? What is a moon serenade? I believe it goes MP for all. Dang! Some powerful stuff right there. It's our fault Princess Mail changed. If only we hadn't lost her, this wouldn't have happened. I'm keeping this gun ho guy coming because I don't want people to think I'm an independent person. But I don't want to anymore, but I cannot quit now. They feel responsible for that incident and volunteer and take and test training every single day. It's fine to have strong faith, but blame themselves too is also a problem. Can we explore the other tower now? Nope. Cannot eat until it's ready. Sorry. Well, that wasn't actually a tower. This is a tower. Yes, we can. It's like the guards all dropped the guard for some reason. Guards dropped their guard. Probably could have said that better. Castle is under control, but Princess Emile is a little. I wonder what happened to Princess Emile. The room for Moon Divining. Yeah, that'll be important later. Wow, look at that view. Got so high up here. Hey, hey, this is Prince of Meal's room. 
It's not a place that a bastard like you can go in. Just go away, shoo shoo. Okay, I guess it says the same thing each time. But we know now where uh, Princess Emil is. Almost guaranteed you're gonna have to come back here later. Because she is a fake. That's what I think. She's been replaced. Why do I think that? Because I just played Secret of Evermore. <laughs> to the Moon Tower. It's easy to figure out because of this. It's clear that this says, but it says Star Tower. No matter how disappointed you get, never be without the portrait. That is versatile of being a fan. Every time I see the portrait of Princess Miller, it reminds me of how gentle Princess be. It reminds me of uh, the, 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 what we call it, some Lunar. Uh, the, uh, the printouts. I don't know what the, I don't know what they're called. You know what I'm talking about. The, uh, the pictures. Up, up, up we go. Mr. Fest is supposed to be astronomy, but he has a seized wise men as well. He knows many things. That's why he was assigned to be Princess Lisa's governor. Mr. Fest is seized wise men. Okay. Hi, Birdie. Dang it, I hate it when the game just like glides you because you hit a wall. Why is this downward? There's something dark about Sister Meal now that I cannot see. Seems like it has something to do with the gang. Let's go find out what the relationship between Sister Meal and the gang. If we leave Princess Meal this way, eventually the crutch will be in danger. I sympathize with you, Princess DC. Go to bed! Eek, 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 eek! Definitely not as cute as Cheap Cheap, that's for sure. But then in Cheap Cheap was kind of a pain in the butt. It's sort of a uh, book on written tales too. That's that's just something for sure. I, I'm doing book on written tales too right now with a uh, Chinook PT. I'm going to be publishing it on the channel sometime after. Sometime after. Hmm. Sometime after the casting of Frank Stone, I imagine. I thought that was the real test of stars. Hey, we found the founder of Stardust. So basically, we're doing. This is a telescope, it's enormous. Basically, what we're doing is we're doing uh, Dead Rising right now. And then, after Dead Rising, we'll do the cast of Frank Stone. That's a brand new game by Supermassive, one that I really want to play. And then we'll do our point and click adventure. Book of Rain Tales 2. And then we'll do The Walking Dead. And then we'll have a fan vote for both the next horror game and point and click adventure. It'll take us a little while to get there, but we'll like have back to back votes, which is pretty cool. Oh, what's up, you folks? You can pass freely. That's good. I thought you were going to cause trouble. Sea Dragon and Phantom Ship appear on Lissa Bay. Yeah. The coming of Ace Ceremony is a kind of rite of passage. Yes. Seems strange. I said this in the comment section, but I'm going to predict that Meru is going to be a water elementalist. She looks sort of like the type that would be water elemental. And look at the city. It's like surrounded by water. Everything is watery. So it just makes sense, especially when you talk about, you know, a ship and all that. Was it a ghost ship? Some sort of ship. Uh, but when you discuss things like there's a ship and everything, it just makes sense. Okay, I'm going to see you guys at um, the Valley of Corrupted Gravity. A total of two fights, and they were both in the Overlord, or the Overlord, the Overworld. Uh, the, and they're nothing... And the other zone, I got through the barrens uh, without a fight, which is really weird. 
It is blockaded, but where's the King's Zuar? I cannot anyone pass unless you have pass. Oh, excuse me, sir. This is a pass with Valley of Corrupted Gravity. The gate! Open the gate! Over there is the territory of the Carriage King. If that's not enough, the gravity is warped. Advance with caution, sirs. Kinda interested to see what this gravity thing is gonna look like. I mean, this look this place looks pretty awesome. Oh, is that bad at all? I was expecting to have some fun. Huh? Meru, watch out! <laughs> oh God! It still has the backwash from the dragon campaign. The collision and the magic power of the dragons and winglings can distort nature quite a bit. Huh. I don't think you're gonna have much fun from now on. Well, like, I'm not a following you guys just for that. Let's go, guys. We gotta find the Garricks. How do I get down to that chest? Oh, over here. I thought there was, like, some gravity manipulation I had to do. But, nope. Speed up. Is that a passive item that just permanently increases speed, or is that a one-time use? It's a repeatable double agility item. Hmm. This game seems to love to give their repeatable items, don't they? Oh, are these the, uh, the things that heal you? Yeah. I love the way enemies dance in this game to the music. It's so cool. Kill a bird, erupted chick, and kill a bird. This guy back here is booging. Look at this. And apparently it's really hard to miss. Uh, hit two. I was going to say it's really hard to miss. No, it's really easy to miss, apparently. Nope, we got it. We don't got it. I think it's so cute. All right, one down. Ha, ha, devil punch. I think I'm maybe starting at the hang of that. I forget who it was. It's been a day or two. But someone mentioned that uh, Hashel's edition, oftentimes I'll press the button like when he's winding up to hit and not after he hits. So you gotta do it when he hits because then he double hits. And that's a little bit different. Because like these attacks, you can see he does it before he attacks. So there's a part of my brain that says, you know, don't do it until you, you know, don't do it. If you do it when you attack, it's already too late. That's what I mean to say. No reason not just to go back there and do a quick kill. Gotta go this way. Gotta go this way. Aw, oh, crud. Oh, another satchet. Why you get back? Oh, well, that's not a big deal. Yeah, that's not a big deal. Well, the only problem is you got all these items that are really nice, but you only have a 32 item inventory. So you have things like the sachets, which do do damage. And there's enemies like uh, part zero zero that you can only do one damage to. And this does damage. I'm assuming this could like one shot those guys. Which means I don't want to waste these things. 
Uh, this is a repeatable item. It's always going to be good. This I could care less about. I don't know why I need to sell this, to be honest. I don't know why I need to sell that one either. Um, Minor enemy only attacks one ally, three turns repeat. No fight physical attack, but three turns repeat. This is a really good combo. Like, use Pandemonium and then use Material Shield, as Kyle told me, and you basically become invulnerable, which is ridiculous. Uh, so, a lot of these repeat items are really, really good, and you want to hang on to them. But, the, like I said, the problem is you just have too many items. And since you have too many items, uh, you quickly don't know what to do with them. Maybe I should uh, try that pandemonium trick. Well, there's only one enemy. I don't need to do it to this one. Look at this guy, though. Oh, this guy looks so cool. Dragonfly, he looks so cool. Right, well, we're about to shut him down. I will say, some of these repeatable items don't make the game ridiculously simplistic for a lot of normal fights. Maybe not the bosses, but for a lot of these normal fights, you know, you just shut down the enemy and then you can beat the heck out of it, or you can defend to get max HP. I mean, this enemy is supposed to be like a really strong enemy, it looks like. And I'm just, you know, I'm, I just don't care. He, he's, he's, uh, he's easy to kill. Okay, come up here. But the problem is there are some enemies that can, like, AOE you. And it's incredibly frustrating because they just totally destroy you and wreck you. So if you don't do things like that, then you could easily be, you could easily get crushed. And then you have to waste time healing by defending. And yeah, that's, that's the thing that happens. So it looks like I go middle, left, middle, right. Oh, look at this guy. A rock. Very common enemy in a lot of RPGs. The griffin type creature known as the rock. That is like one of the easiest additions. It, it really is. It just flows. There's no panic. It just goes, you know? Yeah, so I gotta jump on the little one. I think what happens is... That was dumb of me. I think what happens is that top right one... Hey, if you look ahead, it looks like there's rocks above you. So one of these rocks that were above you probably takes you to that top right one. It's probably a shortcut back. I go here. I think I'm not sure, but I think I gotta go down this way to get that chest. Yep, 
Okay, it's not a shortcut. It's it's just a way to go back after going in the door. Or going in the chest. Going in the chest? You don't go in the chest. I mean, pick up the chest. Yeah. It's just a way back to pick up the chest. Okay, so we have three enemies here. So magic, sig magic sign stone, whatever. Locks down one enemy. And I love how they're faster than me, of course. But if I do this... And then I do this. This says repeatable. This doesn't say repeatable. That says repeatable. This doesn't say repeatable. But it did say repeatable in the inventory. So this could be a trap. I'm going to go ahead and use a very rare save state here. And the reason I'm going to say stay here is because if this disappears from the inventory, I'm going to call it nonsense because I'm pretty sure this says repeatable in your inventory, but it doesn't say here. So if I just lose this item from the game, I'm going to go back and look because the, the, the description is wrong. The description is wrong one way or another. So you see now with the pandemonium and stuff going, uh, all the enemies are going to target Hatchel. But Hatchel is invulnerable to damage. So instead of locking down the enemies from moving for three turns, I make it so that they all have to fight the same person for three turns. Now, I'm pretty sure this doesn't work on AoEs, which is always an issue. But for something like this, it seems to work pretty dang well. See, this one just flows. Die. More and more. Worse again. Oh wow, that actually hit. I wonder if the three turns are over or if, or if that pierces uh, the move. Alright, moment of truth. Let's check our inventory and let's see if that item went away. Because it should have went away. According to the battle description. But it said repeatable in the inventory. Yeah, um, it is repeatable. But for some reason in the... In the um and in the battle menu it doesn't say it's repeatable. That's weird. I know I totally don't need to use that healing potion, but I'm at 32 or 32. So it's something I kinda had to do. Don't jump off. I just barely made that rock rotation. Barely made that rock rotation. Wow. Speed running my way through this. I missed this one though. Just gotta chill here for a second. Alright. Continue on. Hmm. Almost feels like I'm playing a platformer now. <laughs> I know this is different from the platform. I'm just saying it's kind of similar. What the heck is that? It's a weird little spider. With spikes on its eye. Spider urchin. Okay, that makes sense. It's got spidery legs and it's got urchin eye. No, I see your cheeks. They're like these puffy things that have spikes all over them. When you go to the beach, you gotta be careful you don't step on one. Or else you're gonna have a bad time. Surprise that kill. I 
I, I do think I might stop using the uh the strat here um with Hatchel because he's probably the one that's furthest behind. Just just miss. He's the one that's supposed to be out in the additions. I just missed that stone. Now I gotta wait for it to come back. Would be really nice if the stones moved a little bit faster. Not saying I'm not a patient man. I'm just saying... They move really slow. Um... Was I not supposed to jump on that one? Was I supposed to jump on that one? Or did it go somewhere else? Did I not notice it? Not a fan of that bird's eye view like that. Which one did they hit? They hit Dart? Dart has an amazing amount of HP right now. I mean, look at his HP versus everyone else. It is astronomical. And in this game, having a really high HP is very good. Because that means that you defend more HP. I wonder if it goes into quad numbers. Like, it does look like there's just enough space on both sides for it to go quad. The only problem is your numbers would be like really close to the HP in the other pictures. So is 999 HP the max? If 999 HP is the max, how in the world did I get to the max so quickly? Darn it! See? You see, that's what happens when you talk about things being too easy. You know, it says three times three. I think I made a mistake on reading that. I believe that makes you resistant to three attacks as in three total attacks not three turns no i may be wrong about that maybe it is three turns hmm. yes. this guy is really annoying with how like hard they are to hit ha, ha. Punch. they summon it I was about to say, they summon enemies to fight for them. No, they just summon enemies to do damage. Okay. Haven't seen someone do that before. That was really cool. Oh, and then it ran away. Of course it runs away. And he bravely ran away. Ran away, away, did. Bravely ran away. Yes. Go. Ash with the level up. Thunder Kid, new magic. D level. That's fantastic. Very, very happy to see that. Um, although, oh wait, it looked like there was a rock that was like right there. Aha! Come on. Investigate. Glad I investigated. This is a really cool place. It's also very confusing, but very cool. I have a feeling this took me all the way back to the beginning. <laughs> like everything I just did doesn't matter. I, I, I just went all the way back to the beginning. Let's just go. I mean, hitting these guys is kind of a pain in the butt. So if I take my time to put up shields and all that, you know, it's probably worth it because I just took a massive amount of damage. Hmm. I just hate how dodgy these things are. It's like they dodge and then they run away. Although Hatchel's doing a very good job of dodging right now. Yes. 
I mean, I hate missing. It is so frustrating to miss. It's like one of the most frustrating things in an RPG is just to keep missing. It's not fun when you miss, you know? Especially when you miss repeatedly. Because you feel like there's nothing you can do about it. It's it's just the game says, no, you're not going to do damage this turn. Try again later. Wow, she just one-shot that guy. And again, because I didn't put up my defense strats, now I kind of have to guard here. Try to get back some of my HP. This thing seems to be really fast, though. Like, it's already done, what, two turns? And I haven't had... I mean, that's my second full turn healing. And I think it can move now. But hey, let's try to get my HP back a little. Yeah, I'm defending, so it's not a big deal. Getting some decent gold here, though. I mean, a hundred per fight isn't bad. Okay, this isn't taking me all the way back to the beginning. It's taking me up, up, and away. Huh. I would have never expected it to do that. One magically attacked SP is accumulated. And it's plus five. Wow. Plus 14 magic attack. Yeah, your magic defense goes down, but his magic attack is not great, but his final burst is amazing. So that makes his final burst amazing. Er. Amazing er? Amaz more amazing? Uh, whatever. It, it, it makes it really, really, really powerful, is what I'm trying to say. Punch. That is once we get our uh, Dragoon Spirit back. Because obviously we can't use anything until we, you know, get that back. I I'm really afraid of these guys more than the other ones. Because that rock attack is, I mean, 60 damage to everyone. As I said before, AoEs can really mess you up. Scuttle, scuttle, scuttle. Why did you hit her? Takes her the longest to uh, get back HP. Is Dry even hurt right now? Yeah, but not much. What if I use speed up on her? Try to get her an extra turn uh, of healing. That worked pretty well. All right, let's kill this bug. Let's hope it doesn't attack Catchall because that. Oh, it still can't move. Okay, cool. Full HP. And a miss. Swing and a miss. And a mind purifier, which is kind of not good. Because I have too many items now. I only had three of those, though. All right. 
Now you may say, Flightless, why don't you just use a Meteor uh, Fall in battle? It's because, you know, you get EXP at the end of fight, you get gold at the end of fight, but you get SP during the fight when you use additions. So sometimes it's better to use additions. Can I get a shortcut back, but I gotta go all the way around? I gotta go all the way back. This game loves to throw this fight at me. I kinda don't like this fight because of the rocks. I mean, I've had what? Like one actual rock fight? Give me more rock fights, or give me more of those uh, dragonfly fights. Those are pretty cool. But I don't like these guys because they can dodge. That's a uh, that's a really big mess up by me on uh, Rose there. They only seem to use rock after they've been hit, though. Double punch. And then after using rock, they run away. Let's go ahead and heal back up. And then we uh, squash the spider thing. Ah, uh, way too early. Just way, I mean, yeah, that's the thing is I'm pressing the button when he cocks back his um, his hand to fire. And that's not when you're supposed to press the button. But everyone else it is. Like everyone else you press the button before you hit. So it just throws me off. It's good to know now why I'm thrown off. But it doesn't make it less annoying. <laughs> Poison Needle and an actual level up, not a dragon level up. Um... Where do I go from here? Oh, there was a different portal. Okay. All right. And then from here I go up here. Okay, this is taking me way up too. I hope I don't miss anything in this place. Although it'd be probably very easy to miss things considering, huh? How this place is built. What a welcome we got. Oh, look. What's up? Barrage? Oh god, not these things. Huh? Like, what the heck is that? What is worse, it has a complete farm. Like, guys? I'm asking you, what is that? That might be the real cause of the distortion of the valley. Wow, like, that's so scary. Shauna? Here it comes again. I hear the voice again. Don't go. It's too dangerous to go. Yes, like, we gotta go? We're not gonna make it to the Garricks without going over this thingamajig? What are you looking at? You guys don't trust me? Is there no way but to advance? I 
I think I might have missed that chest there. Like, I'm pretty sure there's another white gravitational beam I'm supposed to go up. Now you may say, uh, Flotus, why are you targeting, uh, Hash with that? Because he already got hit. I mean, simple as that. You know, the person gets hit, gets the, uh, gets the thing, because they're already hit. This is kind of dangerous, because he can't kill those things. His addition must have just leveled up. Because I could have sworn he could kill those things. And I was about to say, it's kind of dangerous, because the, the, the chick is probably going to go next. And if we hit it, it's probably going to lock. Dang it! Should have bent it there. It's fine. I'm gonna go ahead and shut this guy down so I can uh, refill my HP roll fast. Come on, Atchel. Let's have Hashel get the uh, extra edition. I was gonna say providing a hit, but I didn't want to jinx it. <laughs> level up for Rose. She's now at level 16. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I missed that chest somewhere. I'm pretty sure I missed it somewhere. All right, so Crash Dance is not yet level three. Rose More More is still level two. Double Punch is level three. I, I might go back for that at some time, but I don't want to do it now. I don't want to do it today. And if I miss out on it, I miss out on it. That's just a well. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be way down there. I can't let you go. We advanced, we'll have to fight again. Hey, like, nothing can be done without me and the Garricks, right? What about Lynn, Darts Memento, and this Lloyd that you're looking after, or for? Warren won't help. Besides, it might not start to move this time. Yeah, you just had to say that. Everyone run. Let's go. Whoa! Look at this guy. Huh. Uh. Yeah. Well, I dart do damage. And we'll go ahead and pandemonium dart as well. He has the most HP. I need Zappy here. What this bird? There are multiple targets. Yeah, there is. Or is this a minor enemy? Well, it's not a minor enemy. So that ain't gonna work. 
Alright, this guy AoEs, it's also not gonna work. Uh, what should I... I should really go after the arms. But going after the head or body could end the fight. So, I'd rather just go after... And unfortunately, I don't have Dragon Form on these guys. I do have it on these two, but I want to save her for healing. It hasn't attacked yet, which is weird. Now is not the time to be missing, Flightless Bird! His is amazing. Okay, he, he, he has probably the coolest transformation. And it is awesome. Atomic Mind. Oh, this, they're both single attacks. Interesting. That's cool. And does it do 200 damage? Yeah, it does. Okay. 200 was the number I picked because it's above the normal 100 that you normally do from a single target attack. Did it just kill him in one hit? exist why why I'm gonna run out of these angel purifiers that's the biggest BS I've ever seen is it because I want dragoon form Only attack you when you go dragoon form. Because otherwise, it hasn't really hit me. Nope, it, 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 it does hit you. Maybe though, if you go dragoon form, it'll one shot you. Considering I only have one resurrection item left, it's probably a good idea to not tech fates. That really hurt though. Like, really, really hurt. Pandemonium thing never really seemed to help. I do have healing bases though. Okay, so first it's super slow, and now it's getting like multiple turns. And and it would be easy to say, well, plus because he has four body parts. The thing is though, and here's the thing. Um, it seems like. The only thing attacking me is the same thing. You may have to kill the uh, arms. Because maybe the arms are the ones that one shot you. Come on, flightless bird! Stop being so daft! Did I just say the word daft? I don't even know I don't really know what that means. Uh, slow? Dumb? Great. Just great. This boss is kind of annoying.
Okay, he doesn't just do that when he... I hate this boss. Any boss that has an instant kill, I instantly hate. It's just the way it is. It's, 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 it's the way of things. It just sucks, okay? Because no enemy should be able to just instantly kill you. I need a lot more AoEs, I need uh, more revives. Yeah, you remember those uh, attack items I discarded earlier? Maybe not the best idea to discard them. And the bottom line is I need to put damage on this thing. That was a really long pause. Okay, the head is almost dead. This is my last uh, revive. Because I wouldn't have died if it wasn't for the nonsense one hit KOs. I mean, this thing wouldn't have killed me any other way. I was nowhere close. His 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 dragoon attack is awesome now. I was nowhere close on that. I'm not a fan of the dragoon attacks. They just are ridiculous at times. Do something. I, I probably should have AoE healed, but like I said, I do have healing breezes. And right now, I just need to put damage on this thing. Like, I really feel that way. I really feel like I just need to hurt this thing as fast as possible. Death dimension. Hopefully that killed the head in any of the fight. Nope. Okay, that's new. Can you do that more instead of trying to one hit kill me? Cause I, I, I don't mind that one. Okay, both arms almost dead. The head is almost dead. I need to go after the arms though. Cause I can't be one hit KO'd anymore. Just can't be. And if I would have gone after the armies to begin with, this fight wouldn't have been so bad. So, it's totally my fault. I also should have healing breeze there. Never mind, I should have just hit it. <laughs> Alright, we got through that fight. No, to sell five or five items. Shana! What's she doing? What the heck is going on? Shut 
Shana? What on earth are you? Too for large. I don't know. I don't know anything. Th there is no mirage. The art. It's okay now. Got a moon serenade. Oh, a lot of gold and a lot of XP. And a bunch of level ups. Maybe new additions, hard to tell. Characters aren't in party, don't show you that, but nothing for the three that I'm using at the moment. The power that can awake the sleep of 11,000 years. Is that Manko against us? The Manko against the goons, the awakening, the village. Or is that something to do with Shana? Shana. Well, thanks for my guiding you. It was totally thrilling, wasn't it? Now we can go straight to the garage gang. We can go rescue Lin. After you came back, Dart, a lot of things started to happen. But we have overcome everything and we will continue. Because I'm not alone now. Everybody's with me and I have you, Dart. You make me strong. I can do it. I can leave any time. We were saved by Shana. But it seems that this is not the simple for her. But the existence of dragoons and the existence of virages should have ended 11,000 years ago. But they were brought to life around us. I think we have to go forward to find out more about this. I meant to talk to Hashel. There must be something wrong with Shana. She must definitely see it. Everybody knows that. Hey, Shana has changed. She has attained more strength. I agree. I don't know what is happening to Shana, but she has trained it so that to know. She has become a woman. I guess so. It's not time to talk about this, but it's time for you to change. Me? It's too hard on Shana if you continue to treat her like a mere baby sister forever. Doesn't matter. Your dragon spirit is waiting. We have a lot to think about going. Let's go, Ivan. The Garrix will be just ahead. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go back this way, though. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to figure out a way to get to that chest. Um, in addition, I might make my way back to town uh, to get some revive items and to heal up because who knows what's around this corner. It's very possible. It's very possible that around this corner is my Firestone and I don't have to do anything else. It's also very possible that, um, that the game is going to give me, uh, 50,000 gold to buy all the items I need just out of thin air, you know, just because it feels like it. And I don't think that's going to happen. And I don't think I'm just going to get my Firestone without a fight. So I, <laughs> I want to make sure I'm prepared for that. And I also want to see what's in that chest. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do that. But I am going to stop for today or over an hour. Much love to you all. I hope you have a wonderful, fantastic, amazing, awesome day. And uh, until next time, on the Legendary Dragoon, so long and take care. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to comment on what you saw and what you'd like to see next. I always love to hear your thoughts. But before we go, please remember that you matter and you are brilliant and you are loved and you should always be true to yourself. Never let the world tell you any different. Much love to you from your friendly, feathered, flightless bird.